Paul James here and in today's video, we're gonna build out a landing page inside of WordPress. If you ain't beefing about the money, then what's the problem? Yo, what is going on guys? I just took a quick break from playing Fortnite behind me because I wanted to shoot this video for you right now. So I have a webinar coming up. I have to create a bridge page for it. And I wanted to show you how to create a landing page inside of WordPress. So if you're wondering at all how to create landing pages or you just want to learn something new or do it for clients or learn a different way of doing it, then stick around and watch this video. If you're familiar with WordPress and you've used it before, do me a favor and smash the like button for me to let me know. Also, if you're new here and you've never been here before, I do a lot of step-by-step -step tutorials just like this one. I also talk about entrepreneurship and motivation. So do me a favor and subscribe using the button below the video. Also, if you want, you can comment on the video saying I've subscribed and I'll actually go back through. I will read your comment and then I will reply back to you welcoming you to the channel because I am so excited that you're here with us today and I'm happy to have you as a new subscriber. In my last video, you guys watched me create a high converting webinar registration form. I will leave a card in the upper right hand corner of this video where you could go check that out if you didn't catch it. But I'd recommend actually watching this video first before you go do that. And we also build that one out using WordPress too. So I don't want to waste any more time. We're going to jump on the computer in front of me and we're going to break down this strategy right now. We have one more quick order of business that we have to get to before we get into this video. And that is that I have to announce the three winners of our Rebump giveaway. So to those of you who entered the contest to win a free one year um, of their Unlimited Plus plan, I've got three winners picked out from that contest right now. So let's go and uh, read off those winners. Okay, so up first we have Kendra Blackwell. Congratulations, Kendra. Thank you for entering. You've won a free copy um, for a year. We have Mark Clubber Tans. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Congratulations, Mark. And then we have Lolata. Lolata, you didn't give a last name. Um, but what I've actually done is I've gone and I've had my team send you guys, the three of you, emails on how to claim your one year free plan of the Unlimited Plus plan for Rebump. So yeah, um, congratulations guys. And thank you everyone else who entered the contest. All right, now back to the video. Today we're gonna be creating what's called a bridge page. So. Here's what a bridge page is. Someone registers for the webinar, they come, they learn something on the webinar, and then usually at the end, you offer some sort of complimentary uh, opportunity to work closer with you. From that point, you can either send them to basically like an order page, but one thing that I like to do, which seems to really boost conversions, is send them to what's called a bridge page. Now, a bridge page is exactly what it sounds like. It's the page that sits in between the actual webinar and the order form. And it's basically meant to be like a very short sales page, meant to kind of recap what was talked about on the webinar um, and basically explain how limited and how special the offer is. Let's hop into the WordPress. We're gonna use Optimized Press for the actual building of it again. You could use something like ClickFunnels. I have done that before, but we're gonna stick with the theme of hosting everything yourself on WordPress and we're just gonna roll with that. So I'm gonna go into the Optimized Press template library and I'm gonna find a template that's going to work well for me for this actual bridge page. Now I don't need something too fancy. Um, so something like this grabs my attention where it's showing the price right on there and if I hit the preview button, that looks like a pretty nice bridge page. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna download this template and I'm actually gonna go back into my WordPress site I'm gonna go into Optimize Press and I'm gonna create a new page inside of the Optimize Press plugin. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to browse for that file that we just downloaded because it's a new template, meaning I didn't use something that was already installed. I'm actually using something that was a newer template. So I'm gonna to have to browse for that and install that template. Okay, so I found it, I'm hitting the install button and we're just gonna wait for that to upload and we're good to go. So now we just need to locate it. It should be somewhere here, um, probably under sales pages. Yep, there it is. So we're gonna hit use this template. We're gonna name this something. So I've named the page something. I'm gonna go ahead and create it and we're gonna begin editing our template. Okay, so the very first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop in a logo here. So I'm gonna select my logo file. All right, it's uploading right now for us and we're going to insert it probably gonna have to play with the uh, size of it because it might look a little off. Well, that actually, 
that actually looks pretty good. So there it is. And actually, I really like this because the general scheme of the logo, this was just kind of luck. It didn't really plan it that way. But the general color scheme of the logo actually um, seems to blend pretty well with the other elements of the page. It's got that kind of blue theme going on. Um, this I'm going to change to a support desk link. So I'm just going to say, do you need support or having trouble buying? Click here to get support. This is going to be a link that goes to my support desk. So one of the very first things that I want to do on this page is I want to establish that they came off of the webinar. So I want to say something like, thank you for attending our webinar training. Okay, so below that, I'm gonna actually put something else. I'm gonna put, this is a very time limited offer. Because the way we're actually running this one is we're setting it up, we're gonna run it for about a week and then we're going to close off the doors or potentially raise the price. I'm not sure which angle we're going to take, but we definitely want some sort of exclusivity where we wanna reward people for taking action right away. So we're gonna structure it that way. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. It's a little bit too big right now for me. So let's try 35 pixels. Um, that looks pretty good. All right, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna restructure this page a little bit because it's a little bit long for what I need it for. I'm gonna take, here's what's included and these bullet points, and I'm gonna drag them and put them up here right underneath, this is a limited time offer. So um, all I need to do is grab these arrows and then drag it up here. And I'm going to reword this to say, I'm just gonna say here's a quick recap of exactly what's covered inside. And I'm actually gonna change the color of that as well because we have a blue color right above it. So let's just make this more like a dark gray, like a charcoal color. Okay, we're gonna save our changes and we're going to drag up this bullet point list now and we're going to include talk about what's inside of the product. So basically we have this product um, delivered week by week so that each week customers can actually follow along and complete homework assignments that are action based to help them stay on track, which I find seems to really, really help the success rate of our students go up when we do this. Okay, so there's our quick little recap and I think that looks great. Now, instead of having this be a double column row, it's really, it's a, it's a third and a two third row. So we have a third over here and then two thirds on the right. I'm gonna make this a single row. And the reason why is because I just don't have a ton of content that I wanna put on this page. So the easiest way for me to probably do that is to probably just add a new row up here, make it one column, and then drag this stuff up. Okay, simple enough. Now. With that, we're probably going to want to center some stuff. So we'll center that. We will center this one as well. Okay, that we won't center. So a lot of this stuff is just about kind of playing around. Like you don't have to be a professional web designer. You don't have to learn how to program. You really just have to take the time to experiment with what looks good and what doesn't. It's a lot of trial and error, at least it is for me. Okay, so I'm gonna delete all of this. Um, I'm gonna delete this stuff down here. I'm gonna mess with the page settings so that we don't have all those links at the bottom of our page. Um, actually, I think that's under the layout settings. So it's this footer area, we're gonna turn that off. Okay, we're gonna save those changes. Now we're going to insert our buy button. So I am using Zaxa to do this and Zaxa gives me buy buttons inside that I can just integrate right with my landing page. So I'm gonna grab my order button and I'm going to copy and paste it over here. I'm gonna need to create an HTML or short code element so that I can place the button in it and I'm gonna put it in between what's called a center tag. Um, so just closing off the center tag and opening it and putting my Zaxa button code right in between there is gonna make it look really nice. Okay, so there it is. We're gonna go ahead and save that. Now above that, I wanted to say something like lock in your discounted webinar price below. So let's do a, actually I'll just duplicate one of these headline elements up here because I already like the way this one looks. 
and I'll just change the font or the writing. So something like that. I'm gonna make this stand out more by capitalizing discounted and then I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller so it's not competing for the attention of up here, um, which I think is gonna help a little bit. Okay, I wanna actually view the page now to see what this is starting to look like without the builder turned on. Okay, so there it is, it's pretty straightforward. I might wanna add in like a little graphic and put it right next to these bullet points so that it kind of balances the page out a little bit more. So I'm gonna go find a graphic that would signify something about scaling or acceleration. One site I like to use a lot for this when I need graphics for this purposes is Icon Finder. Okay, so this is what I typed in scaling and um, I don't really like any of those. Okay, I typed in the word fast and that's a little bit more along the lines of what I was thinking. Like this uh, clock thing kind of looks cool and this does too, this little dial that goes over. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, I typed in the word accelerate and now we're really getting closer to what I had in mind. I kind of like this one with the little flame on it and the rocket ones are kind of cool too. I typed in the word rocket and I got even more um, interesting results that I think look pretty cool. So I'm just gonna roll with one of these and try it out. So I'm gonna wanna download the biggest PNG file that I can for this, which is a five by 12. Uh, okay, so now because I did that, we actually are going to use <laughs> a column that is a little bit different. Um, I'll probably go with a split column similar to this up here. So we're gonna add a new row for that and do just two columns. So we're gonna do the graphic on one side, the bullet points on another. And that means we're also going to need to add, let me get rid of these elements and these. We're going to also need to add another row underneath it with one column. And the reason why is because this stuff is gonna to have to go below it. Okay, so we're going to move this down just like that. And then we're gonna move our bullet points on the right. And that looks good. So that's kind of exactly what I was going for. And then on the left, we're gonna throw in an image element. And in that image element, it's gonna be the picture of the rocket, which is going to signify the acceleration part. Again, if they were looking at a page with all just text, it starts to get a little bit boring. So I'm trying to uh, make it a little more interesting and give something to look at. So let's insert that. It might be the wrong sizing. We'll see, that's way too big. So let's shrink that down. Let's try 300 for the width. Still a little too big. Let's try maybe 225. Okay, 225 looks about right. I'm gonna add a little bit of a top margin on it so that it's not aligned with the top and it's more like centered in the middle of these bullet points. Um, let me just show you what that looks like on the view page so that you can understand the reason why I'm doing that. Okay, so right now you see that this is like almost perfectly aligned with the top and on the bottom we have a little bit of a gap from where this is. So I just kinda want it to be a little bit centered. I just feel like it's gonna look a little bit better if we do that. So if I come in and hit edit on this, the top margin, I'm just gonna put in like a 20 pixel margin and try that out. Oops, I forgot to uh, tweak the height on there. For some reason it switched back. Okay, that looks really close. Let's um, look at it out of the editor. Okay, maybe just a little bit too much. I might be being a little bit picky here, but again, I'm all about trial and error. So I'm gonna bump that down maybe five pixels. So instead of 20, I'm just gonna go with 15. All right, that's perfect. So I am gonna get rid of these testimonials at the bottom. They look good, but I have a screenshot of a customer that we've worked with and I'm gonna put that testimonial in instead. I just think it'll look a little bit better as a screenshot. Rather than having it written out, they can actually see the actual email that came in. So I'm probably gonna wanna put this right after the buy button. And the reason why is because they're going to see the price and then the objections are going to come like, oh, well, I don't know if I wanna spend this much money, but then they're gonna see the testimonial after that and it's going to help counteract those objections. So let's say add an element, let's do an image element and I'm gonna upload that image and insert it in there. Okay, so there it is. We're gonna get rid of all of these other rows um, all of these other testimonial things and let's save that. 
let's view it without the uh, builder on and we should have a pretty much good to go completed page. Yeah, that looks good. So there it is. Um, I'm probably going to just add some links at the bottom with our privacy policy and our refund policy and stuff like that. You know, just the legal stuff at the bottom, the disclaimer, all that stuff. Um, but this is the page design and this is the process that we go through when we create a bridge page. So if you're working with a client or you're creating one for yourself, um, you know how to create the webinar registration form now. If you don't, um, I'll put a card up in this video so that you can go in the upper right hand corner and check out that video. We just covered that in another video, so it was pretty cool. You'll be able to get high converting registration form set up to get people onto a webinar. And then after you actually close the webinar, you can send them to a bridge page, which is a page that they'll see recapping the offer before they hit the order page. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, if you also, if you wanna attend the webinar too, I'll leave a link in the description to this webinar. Um, you'll get a lot out of it. It's free to attend the webinar. Obviously, I'm gonna make an offer at the end of the webinar. Um, but the webinar is free to attend and it's going to be killer. You're going to learn some actionable content. And also don't forget to check out my other videos, uh, specifically the one that relates to this series, which is the webinar registration page. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. We'll see you in the next video. I am Paul James. Peace out.